What the hell is this, man? <laughs> What's up high fly gang? It's your boy Birdie. Hey man, today we have a special reaction video. Last time it was Ken Peel. This time we have I met a guy who ate humans. We have a tradition to do like every 10th video a special episode, something a little bit different from music. So let's get right into it. It's a special reaction video. Special. Let's see. Let me just check this. Okay. I hope it's a special video. <laughs> I met the guy who ate humans. Human this flesh. happened when I was in college. I was 20 at the time, studying for an upcoming exam in biology. That is, until my roommate busted in my room. She wasn't yelling, but I could see she was drunk by her excitement. Yeah. I rolled my eyes and sighed. I completely lost focus now. But it was okay. I kind of got... I could but shit? I could see she... That is, until my roommate... Busted in my room. Okay. She wasn't yelling, but I could see she was drunk by her excitement. <laughs> I rolled my eyes and sighed. I completely lost focus now. But it was okay. Hmm. I kind of gotten used to her behavior. She was... A party girl while I was, well, a nerd. I tried to get back <laughs> on my reading. A nerd. <laughs> that was me in high school. <laughs> and college also. Party, motherfucker. Party. Tracks again, but she patted me on the back and drunkenly giggled before speaking. Come on, Jasmine. Every time I see you, you're always reading a book. I sighed before speaking. And every time <laughs> I see you, you smell of alcohol and Vomit. <laughs> she frowned at me. How about this? I'll be quiet all week if you come to this party tomorrow at 8. I wanted to say no, but then I thought about it. I mean, I do always work really hard. Yeah, you Besides, should be... she won't... Yeah, you need to, to look, take a little break. You're just studying. Go to some party. Barge in like this for the whole week? Sounds too yeah. good. Yeah. I thought to myself. So I nodded and continued to read. Okay. We got ready. I hadn't dressed up in ages, so I was kind of excited. <laughs> the party was loud, filled with drunk people making out, bumping, and dancing. The party was hosted in a basement-like setting, only it was much bigger and had a lot of space. Sounds like a party I would go to, definitely. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I did have a few drinks. Yeah, I did. I of wasn't course drunk, I did. But I was <laughs> definitely tipsy. So, as my view became tilted, this guy comes out of nowhere and has small talk with me. He was fairly attractive. He didn't seem dr drunk. No. We met and exchanged names. From what I remember, he had red dyed hair and blue eyes. He was white and about six feet. His name was Luke. We laughed and talked Luke. about topics like studying and books and that kind of thing. I will just give my approximate guess. My approximate guess. No wonder he wasn't drunk. Maybe he needed his clear head to do something. I'm to give my guess. The talking went on for about a half an hour. He then said, Hey, I'm going to get another drink. Want anything? Uh -huh. And I said, why not? I mean, I'm having fun. So later on, he came back with drinks. And the next thing I remember? Uh, the one thing... I mean, where I'm coming from, in my country, I wouldn't refuse drink because it's a small town. There is no such things. But if I was in America or somewhere else around the Europe and some random person approaches me, and I wouldn't take that drink, especially if I was a girl. But even as a man, I wouldn't take the drink. I don't know that person. Maybe he could spill something in the drink. As I expect, it's gonna happen. Their drink. Already. Want anything? And I said, why not? I mean, I'm having fun. So yeah, you had fun. He came back with drinks. You are being stupid. And the next thing I remember, we were making out in the corner of the party room. It was okay. so quick. And then he asked me. Oh, she was okay. 
Want to go back to my place? <laughs> Which I politely declined. I already know what he wants. Besides, I needed to be on campus in the morning. Come on, I promise it will be fun. I remember that he kept on trying <laughs> to get me to go, but he gave up after I... <laughs> that, <laughs> that looks just like me. Come on, let's go. <laughs> let's go, <laughs> baby. Don't disappoint me now. Made it clear I wasn't <laughs> interested in going to his place. Yeah. He rolled like every time I do this, like I approach a girl and I offer her a drink and I talk to her like for three hours and I spend the five hours of hanging out with her and drinking and spending money. She say, I don't know, like you for real? You took it so long, like you, you took six hours to just say no? Are you dumb? He rolled his eyes angrily and gave me a paper with a number on it. <laughs> if you change your mind, Fine. give me your number. A call. He leaned close to me and whispered against my ear. Then he walked out, and the rest of the night was a complete blank. The next day, I woke up inside my college bedroom, on my bed, next to my roommate snoring on her bed as well. As I got up to shower, a paper fell out of my pocket. It was the number, which Luke. made me remember that guy. But yeah. I had more important things now. I showered then and went to study. I remember reading my book when all of a sudden I felt dizzy. Then I woke up in the bed with police officers and nurses talking next to me. Turns out I had this dangerous allergic reaction that could only be caused from saliva or any bodily fluids that had come from decaying or rotting flesh. Which to my surprise was weird. I hadn't been kissing any huh? reaction officers and nurses talking sudden I felt dizzy then I woke up in the bed I remember reading my book when all of a sudden I felt dizzy okay then I woke up in the bed with police officers and nurses talking next to me turns out I had this dangerous allergic reaction that could only be caused from saliva or any bodily fluids that had come from decaying or rotting flesh which to my surprise was weird I hadn't been kissing anyone let alone ate anything raw then I remembered the guy. I told the police about the guy at the party and gave them the okay. number he gave me. A few weeks passed and my allergies went down so I could live my life normally. I just finished my test when my phone rang. I answered it and it was the police. Turns out the guy from the party had two dead decaying women's bodies inside his apartment that he ate. They must have been there for months. Ooh. I have goosebumps, man. No, no. The police. Turns out the guy from the party had two dead, decaying women's bodies inside his apartment that he ate. They must have been there for months. My heart dropped. The thought that I made out was someone who ate human f flesh, or even Ooh. worse, was what if I had agreed to come to his place? No. Bodies. He would probably eat you too. Shit. She was making out with the guy who previously was eating the flesh of two dead girls in his apartment. Ooh, what a crazy story. I mean, the, I think that it happened only to maybe 1% people in the world. Stuff like this. <laughs> oh, crazy. Oh, man. Guys, if you have some, I mean, I'm doing every, every 10 days, I'm doing special episodes, something a little bit different from music. If you have some interesting stories, it could be animated stories or any, or real stories, anything that is interesting, you can comment down below so I could do a reaction to it. So I don't have to think of anything new on my own. So that would be it for today. If you want to become a part of a high fly gang, make sure you like, share and subscribe. Until the next video, peace out. So if you have something to to ask, just comment down below. I am the matter, bro. Pitchku. What do you say, Sanga?